in order to install AWS CLI, we can search for install AWS CLI in Google. Click on this link, which appears first from Amazon website. Here, all the required documentation is provided. If I scroll down, we have three specific sections for three different operating systems. Clicking on the Windows. The first point here provides the link to download the MSI file. Clicking on it. Going to the folder. This is the MSI file. Double click on this. Click next. Accept the license agreement. Click next again. It is showing the default location, keeping it as is. Next. Click install. Once this installation is complete, I'll resume the recording. The AWS CLI installation is complete. Click finish. Open a command line window. If the AWS CLI is installed properly, if you type AWS, it would recognize. Let me check. Yes, it does. Let me just check the AWS version. So, AWS CLI is installed successfully. Now, we need to configure this with our AWS account. In my case, I have an existing account. I have the account key and the account secret key. So, I'm going to configure my AWS CLI with the account credentials. Let me clear the screen. Type AWS configure. I need to provide the access key ID. Provided the access key ID, press enter. Need to provide the secret access key. Provided that as well. I'm just hiding the credentials for security purpose. Pressing enter. Default region name in my case, I'm providing US East 1. Pressing enter. By default, the default output format is JSON. I want to keep that as is. Pressing enter. Now our AWS CLI is configured. Additionally, we can just test the configuration whether it is working correctly or not. We can execute this particular command AWS STS get hyphen caller hyphen identity. After the command is executed, we can see the response which contains user ID, account, and the ARN. At the end of the ARN, the user name is also provided. So our configuration is working fine. In certain cases, even after installation, if you type AWS, it may happen window is not recognizing them properly the scenarios where even after the installation the command is not recognized at times restarting the explorer helps i did not face this issue this time but i have faced this issue earlier that's why i am mentioning this let me type the command for you as well so that if you face such issue you can use it if required you can restart the explorer from here from task manager or from command prompt you can use this task key slash f slash im explorer.exe. It would terminate the explorer. Then you can use start explorer.exe. So it would restart your explorer and then you can try AWS command or SAM command. In certain scenarios, this may be helpful.